major agendas of the Malaysian Ministry of uh, for Foreign Affairs is uh, to continuously um, push for the non provision review. By ourselves, we do not have uh, nuclear materials to, uh, to quote unquote export for the back, for lack of, of the uh, uh, better word. But however, we do have enough engineering uh, capability to perhaps uh, manufacture components that would feed into building nuclear weapons, um, and especially uh, materials that could be uh, uh, categorized as dual use. So in this sense that a few other countries like Singapore and Malaysia, uh, our government has, has recently passed a strategic trade bill in which there is a legal framework to monitor the export of perhaps dual use materials that can feed into producing nuclear weapons. And this is a very important uh, development if all of the countries or most of the countries in the region uh, would introduce and to implement such laws, the news or the nets against the proliferation and the export and, and the dissemination of nuclear materials will, will, will be tightened in that sense. There are two significant de uh, developments as far as Southeast Asia is concerned. One, uh, again, has, has been raised is the, um, the booming uh, nuclear uh, industry uh, in uh, Southeast Asia. Um, at, at this point, we do not have a functioning nuclear reactor. It is still a relatively new uh, development. Nevertheless, at least three countries have, uh, have, are in advanced stages of um, either uh, planning or will be deploying, uh, will be building nuclear reactors, uh, namely Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia. So we have at least um, three, four, three countries that have announced firm plans and another four uh, are seriously exploring options. And of course, this comes into play, the issues that were raised. Uh, what are the monitoring safeguards? Where are the nuclear um, the um, enrichment of the uh, materials? Uh, uh, not only just terrorism, uh, but could, could nuclear materials be smuggled out to other countries? Would it be fall to non-state non actors? In essence, the question of not just the safety of the nuclear actors, but uh, the other uh, security re uh, really, uh, really related matters, matters itself. Um, second point is what I call the Myanmar test. Uh, there have been reports that Myanmar um, has a clandestine nuclear um, <coughs> program. However, the, the reports have not been confirmed, and the uh, reports, uh, there have been some doubts on the reports by me because it comes from defectors. To what extent can we believe the, val the veracity and the validity <coughs> and the accuracy of the reports from the defectors who definitely have an extra crime against the regime? The, the implication is that Myanmar perhaps uh, does not have the technical ability to actually uh, go on a full blown nuclear weapons program. But however, uh, uh, with enough resources, I think. Uh, North Korea, in the case of North Korea, has led to us even an uh, impoverished country, given the political will, they could make a nuclear uh, weapons program work. And what if one of our countries in Southeast Asia, an ASEAN member, um, is found to have a nuclear a functioning uh, nuclear weapons program, what would ASEAN do? Yeah. What would our reaction be in the context? of the Southeast Asia nuclear weapons free zone in the context of the of a zone of peace, freedom and neutrality and in the context of NPTs as well. Uh, my opinion is that uh, ASEAN has to react strongly because it does not it will mean the end of ASEAN in many ways in the sense that uh, we uh, the treaties and the obligations within ASEAN will have no meaning if any one of the countries has pledged uh, through the Treaty of Bangkok and to uh, fly in the face of it. And definitely, if hypothetically Myanmar is found to develop nuclear weapons, uh, other countries, other states like, like Thailand, I would seriously think about going nuclear as well. It may set up a um, uh, chain reaction. Do we have the capability to, like Israel, to launch a nuclear, uh, sorry, a preemptive strike on certain laboratories or certain sites? That, uh, that we know uh, that is allegedly to be supporting these uh, nuclear, nuclear weapon programs. Uh, we're not sure. If uh, any of the countries, for example, Thailand in this sense, in a hypothetical sense, were to launch a surgical military strike, what would that mean to ASEAN? 
And I think this is where perhaps we can take lessons uh, from the six monthly talks. Um, our approach uh, to uh, the issue of security is, is very unique in terms of ASEAN. I'm reminded by the philosopher Immanuel Kant, um, in where he describes there are two types of peace, negative and positive. Um, ASEAN has been always operating on a notion of negative peace. Uh, we have been derided, uh, we have been um, criticized for our diplomatic culture of sweeping things under the carpet. When there are problems, when there are issues, if we can resolve it, we would. If it's too contentious, we would just keep it to the next meeting. Uh, we would continue having meetings, we continue discussions, but not really for forceful negotiations, discussions, not taking the rules by its horn in that sense. Um, and in this manner, we have uh, since 1967, maintain a relatively peaceful environment where uh, none of the states have used force to resolve any conflicts. We have maintained this this aura of of being able to not to um, resolve conflicts, but our management of the conflict. And what does this relate? How does this relate to uh, nuclear weapons? How does this relate to the Non-Proliferation Treaty? Uh, I wager that even in in the case of Myanmar, there is no incentive for any of the 10 countries going nuclear. Uh, the threat between neighboring countries it is just not there. Uh, we have been very good at managing uh, conflicts, and um, we, our uh, approach to uh, resolving uh, issues is uh, to bind people in community building. We have political community building, we have economic community building. Of course, uh, it's not as advanced as what Europeans are actually doing, uh, but uh, our approach is that none of the countries feel insecure enough to undertake a major military program directed against any of the neighboring countries. The threat that we face in Southeast Asia and Asia is non-military, essentially political instability, economic crisis, climate change, and all of these issues cannot be resolved by acquiring nuclear weapons. And I think even in uh, a regime as myopic and perhaps as insecure as Myanmar would, would know that, that the, um, the irrelevance of nuclear weapons and to how far it can go with using military means to resolve whatever issues that that has.